Hello my German viewers, this is Hover Junkie. I went ahead and took the front plate off and the side panels. Let's take a look, we're gonna do an open box real quick before we do the installation on the uh, lead screws. Devcraft has been very supportive at every step of the way so I can keep on cutting my frames and they went ahead and sent me this as soon as they were able to get them from Germany. Brand new. I was having issues with uh, one of the lead screws but Devcraft was nice enough to send me two. And the issue was the neck of the lead screw was a little bit higher than the other. Okay, so here they are, the two lead screws. They're both identical in size. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take this lead screw out. I went ahead and already took everything out from the other panel. Now I'm just gonna loosen up this screw back here. The bearing will come out guys, be aware about that. There it is, there's lead screw number one. All right guys, so here it is, and remove this one. Now this is the one I was having issues with. I'll compare it to the other one. This was a little bit longer than it should be. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring them all the way to the top, like Step Crab mentioned, about right there. And then take the first lead screw and put it in. Okay, it's coming through the other side. It's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the other side. Okay, like that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back. Okay, put the bearing in position bearing on the other side I'm making sure this is flat here and I can pull it out now as you can see the middle of it's right here so this needs to be adjusted so you need to adjust it from the middle right here okay oh that's perfect right there same thing on this side you want to make sure when you tighten it up a little bit you're gonna have play. Make sure that you're right in the center of the diameter of the bearing. So you wanna make sure that the rod's play is perfectly even. So when you push it, it meets the outside. If you notice that it'll go to the center and it'll go back down, you need to adjust this part right here, whether up or down. I'm almost there, so you can see. So I gotta bring it down just a little tiny bit. And it's recommended to adjust it from here, not here. That looks just about right. I'm just gonna go up a little tiny bit. Right, right there. That looks beautiful. I'm gonna tighten it right there. Okay, and I'm gonna push it in. Put this play back on. The good thing I didn't have to take the bed out or the mill bath because I didn't have to take the uh, emergency switch out. Make sure the bearings are lined up. There's no gap in between now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by that gap. Now if you see this, let's push it over there. The gap right here, if I push it in, there's no gap. Pushing it out, there's now a gap. You couldn't even make that a flush because this actually would be sticking so far out that you will hit this before you can hit that. And that was the problem that I had before. So here it is, so I'm gonna be able to push that back in and yet I still have gap because I have to fix the other side and that gives me enough gap to play with. Just go ahead and tighten it up. And... As you can see, this became flush inside here and I still have movement inside. That's the installation of the uh, lead screw. I'm gonna calibrate it next and I'm gonna put the band on and so on and so forth. But I wanted to share this with you. Thanks again, my German viewers. Please subscribe and like.